The following program comes to you in color from Hollywood. The heart of the entertainment world. The Hollywood Palace. With your host, Bing Crosby. Jimmy Durante, the swordsman of the Lido, Mitchell Ayers of the Hollywood Palace Orchestra, and extra special guest. This portion brought to you by Bayer Aspirin. Bayer is pure aspirin, not just part aspirin. Bayer Aspirin. Bayer works wonders. And by Johnson Wax, maker of clear, the self-polishing floor wax. The dries clear as glass, never yellows. We'll return to the Hollywood Palace after a word from one of our sponsors. What a beautiful view. Did you know you were looking through glass? And what a beautiful floor. Did you know you were looking through clear? Clear floor wax. Clear is the wax that dries clear as glass, never yellows. Clear lets the true beauty of a floor shine through, just as though you were looking through glass. If you want to enjoy the true beauty of your floors, look at them through clear. Clear, the floor wax that dries clear as glass, never yellows. Clear from Johnson Wax. Used to be. Hands off the furniture, Sally. <laughs> Till Mother let Pledge do the dusting. It used to be. No, 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 Billy. So Mother let Pledge do the dusting. I was a pest about the furniture until I let Pledge do the dusting. That's because Pledge doesn't just dust. It cleans and shines, too. Wipes up stains, smudges, and dust. Let Pledge do the dusting for you and get waxed beauty instantly as you dust. Every time you dust. Now, here's the big parade on Hollywood Boulevard, celebrating the fourth anniversary of the Hollywood Palace.
And here is the Grand Marshal of the Parade, your host on the fourth anniversary of the Hollywood Palace, Bing Crosby! Birthday, put on a happy face. We're glad you joined our birthday. You gotta put on a happy face and spread sunshine all over the place. Time for restyling. Slip on that smiling. Put on that happy face. Thank you very much indeed, and good evening. You know, the parade you saw a few moments ago was an accolade, a tribute from the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce to the Hollywood Palace, which this evening marks its fourth anniversary in television. You know, a show has to be on the air for four years around here before they get it afloat. Usually in television, it's 13 weeks and it sinks. But we rallied. Of course, our run of four years is, well, it's just a fortnight, just a jot compared to such veterans in TV as Lawrence Welk, Ed Sullivan, Red Skelton, and Bob Hope even. Bob's record's going to be a tough one to beat, I tell you that, because he's been on the same network for 19 years. In fact, he laid the egg that the peacock was hatched from. Pretty sharp threads you got there, Hurry, son. I have to get back in the window. <laughs> I must say, this is real nice of you, Bob. A busy man like you, you just got back from Vietnam. You have your own show, picking up plaques and citations all <laughs> over the country. And you still found time to stop by for our anniversary. Isn't that well, nice? Well, actually, Bing, I was down on Hollywood Boulevard dusting my star. <laughs> I saw the parade, and I always said someday they'd take Crosby for a ride. <laughs> You're going to stick around, though, aren't you, for our anniversary party? I sure am. You know who's on the show? Senator, who's... Senator Dirksen. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah. Oh, a great orator, the Republican Lawrence Welk. I think... <laughs> Hey, Bing, I know you're a hot football fan, so tell me something. Who do you like in the Super Bowl game tomorrow, uh, Green Bay or Kansas City? Oh, I know. I've been thinking about it, Bob. I'm kind of inclined to go along with the uh, pick the Green Bay Packers. Right now, the Packers are at their peak. Mm -hmm. Now, if the Chiefs can poke some passes, if they're not able to poke some passes past that pack of plucky Packers, they'll be in a pretty pickle. <laughs> That's very cute. What can you do with the three little Chicago Bears? <laughs> That up pretty good. That so you like Green Bay. In that well, case, I'm you. betting on Kansas City. Because I remember when I was ready to go with Chrysler, you're the guy who said, think it over, go with Edsel. <laughs> Hey, but there's one way to get the real Lodoon. 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 Lo He'll be on later. There's a couple of guys outside who can really tell us. Well, let's get them out no, here. Wait, I'll get them. Go ahead. Hey, come here. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet two of the most outstanding members. <laughs> Who's got the ball? <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> Uh, Looked like the Ram backfield for a minute. Hey, uh, the two of uh, like the, the outstanding <laughs> members of the American Football League champions, Hank Stram, the coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, and Mike Garrett, their star halfback. There we are. Oh, hey, my boy. Hey, thank you. you know, you know, Hank, the whole country is waiting to see this first contest between the National Football League and the American Football League. What's the biggest difference between the two leagues? Uh, Bob, I really think the only difference really is the fact that they have 15 teams and we have nine. Well, <laughs> I guess so. That's, I'll work on that. Yeah, that's <laughs> odd. <laughs> but this is nine. the young man right here, though, who gave us so many thrills. And he was an All-American halfback and the Heisman Trophy winner playing at USC. Now he's even greater in pro football, Mike Garrett. Mike, 
as pro football players go, you don't have the size and the weight. How does it feel to go up against all those gigantic linemen? It's pretty frightening, I tell you. Sometimes I wish I didn't have to go out. <laughs> you want to be there Sunday. Come on. We show up. I played a little this football, you know. This isn't paper mache, is it, right here? That's Ooh, solid. Yeah. That beautiful? I played a little football up at Gonzaga a University. I spoke very little, yes. You remember they used to use a little football up there? <laughs> <laughs> and I know a play that's guaranteed to get you 24 points in the first quarter. You like, like to have that play? Uh, no thanks, Bing. I remember the advice you gave me years ago. What was that? I'm still doing those commercials for Etzel. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Don't listen to this guy. I'll send you home in a good car. A Tucker. A Tucker. <laughs> Bob's going to be back, uh, incidentally, in a little bit. He's going to uh, uh, come back and do a little a few monkey shines with us. The show that Bob uh, filmed in Vietnam is going to be on the air January 18th, and I know you won't want to miss it. I really don't think there's a lovelier or a nicer girl to invite to a party than the star who's about to appear on our stage. A fine actress, comedian, singer, portraying tonight one of history's most fabulous females, Lady Godiva. Here she is, Miss Edie Adams. to be a star. Pardon me? You really think that I could go far? Especially dressed the way you are. Oh, yes, sweet 
advancing more. Only my hairdresser knows for sure. <laughs> You look like you're in a bubble bath. Edie, I must say you make an exquisite equestrian. Oh, thank you, Bing. Uh, but um, didn't you recognize the horse? Yes. It's one of your old That's what I yeah. thought. He moves just like the <laughs> same kind of mobility. But that was quite a depiction of the legendary Lady Godiva. You must have done a lot of research on that, Edie. Oh, well, yes, I did, Bing. But I I'm really sorry we didn't have time to tell, you know, the whole story. Well, you're not going to leave without telling us. What really happened? Well, um... Actually, you see, there were thousands of people lining the streets of uh, Coventry when Lady Godiva came riding by. Uh huh. Side saddle. Side saddle. <laughs> That's where we got the expression, hooray for our side. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Can I if you don't have a cold or flu, you're lucky. But at this time of year, with colds and flu on the rise, your luck may not hold out. So. Be prepared to follow the three steps doctors recommend. Rest in bed, drink plenty of fluids, and take aspirin to reduce fever and relieve pain. For the painful discomforts of a cold or flu, take Bayer aspirin. Bayer is pure aspirin, not just part aspirin. And aspirin is the pain reliever doctors recommend. So if your luck doesn't last, remember these three steps. Rest in bed, drink plenty of fluids, and take aspirin to reduce fever and relieve pain. Sure, keep your fingers crossed, but keep Bayer on hand, too. Get Bayer aspirin. When your luck uh, runs out, Bayer works wonders. Uh, you know our next luminary is Tim Conway, the star of the new ABC TV series, Wrangle. But under the pseudonym of Dag Herford, he really happens to be one of the country's leading race drivers. Tonight, he's going to tell us all about this hazardous sport. So let's say hello to Daredevil Dag. Here he comes. <laughs> Mr. Herford, I understand that uh, you and your driving partner just completed the Noble Gas Cross Country Race that's from New York to Los Angeles. That's right. Uh, we just got in this morning. Oh, right. boy, I imagine driving across the country like that. It's a grueling task, huh? How long did it take you? Uh, it took us a year and a half. <laughs> a year and a half to drive cross country? Well, that's unbelievable. Yeah, well, you got to remember, we were driving day and night. <laughs> Did you have a blowout? Well, we little had a little party in Phoenix. <laughs> Six months we were there. Oh. Yeah. I understand that in addition to being a race driver, you're also an outstanding sports car driver. Gee, I imagine accelerating to speeds like 150 miles per hour is quite dangerous, huh? What's the biggest safety factor in a situation like that when you're going that Well, way? I think the key word here is alert. Alert. Yes, you have to be able to make decisions instantaneously because uh -huh. uh, you're inches away from a fatal accident at oh, any time. So you've got to be able to jump and turn that wheel just on a moment's notice. got to be like, sharp. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. sharp. Able to make snap decisions, two and two. Right. Of course, I suppose that could apply to everyday driving, like keeping your mind active, you know. Four. <laughs> Pardon? Uh, uh, well, uh, two and two. Four. <laughs> Yeah, I jump right on him. Ah, you're, you're alert, right? I was wondering, traveling at those speeds, have you ever rolled over? Or rolled over, you know what I mean, rolled over. Have you ever rolled over, rolled over? <clears throat> well, if you think it'd be interesting, I suppose I'd... No, no, no. <laughs> Say, can I just sit up and beg? I got a bad knee. <laughs> I mean, have you ever rolled over in a big race? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, I've rolled over in my last 12 races. Well, what do your mechanics say? He's rolling over again. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of smart Alex, huh? Uh, <laughs> flip, huh? Yeah. Sassy. Have they done anything to improve the car? Well, yeah, they redesigned it for me. Oh, I see. You made it closer to the ground. No, they made it rounder. Boy, she really goes <laughs> now. <laughs> what race are you are you prepping for now? Well, we're going to be up the Indianapolis 500. We're prepping for that. We'll be up there in February. February? But the 500 is run on Memorial Day. Yeah, I know. But we go up in February. There's a lot less traffic. Uh, <laughs> you get up there on Memorial Day, boy, those guys are spinning around. <laughs> That's why we get to iron out the bugs. Gives you a little time. You ever won any races? 
Well, I came pretty close in the Daytona 300. Uh -huh. You know, I was down there, I was leading by six laps, and only had a lap to go, and I pulled in for a pit stop and a tire change, and uh, took them an hour and a half to change a tire, so uh, <laughs> I ended up last. I thought those pit crews could change a tire in 30 seconds. Yeah, well, they can, but uh, I got in the wrong pit. Uh -huh. <laughs> Guys took off my tire. They were up on the hill up there laughing, and, you know, <laughs> drinking and smoking. You know, they're rolling the tire around. Yeah, they were drinking gas. You know. <laughs> What's the biggest prize you ever won, Dag? Well, uh, let me see. Uh, I was probably the in... The biggest uh, race you ever in. I was in a race over way, yeah. uh, with the Grand Prix. Oh, Grand, Grand Prix. Did oh, you, yeah. you run in that? Yeah. I, uh, well, the first money. prize was $50,000. 50000 Second was 40000 Yeah, yeah. 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 I know I'm down. You know, yeah. Yeah. Where, where did you finish? I was in there. Yeah. Oh, well, what did you win? I won a lube job. <laughs> How does your wife feel about this? I've often wanted to ask the race driver, how, how does your wife feel about you being a sports car driver? Well, it kind of bugs her. Yeah? Yeah. Why, you mean she doesn't like it? Well, no, no, not exactly that. Uh, you see, it just kind of bugs her. She doesn't have a windshield on her side. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Those Canadian soldiers hit you, man. You oh, know well, it. After the coif. Oh, yeah. Mr. Herbert, would it be possible for us to... We'd like to... Uh, could, could we see your car? Well, it's uh, kind of big to bring in here. It's outside. I'll tell you what, though. What? I could start up the engine, kind of drive her off. At least you could hear the oh, engine. Oh, that'd be great. That'd yeah. be quite a thrill. Right. Well, uh, I'll go start... Yeah. Right He's going to be starting up his 650-horsepower engine out there, his machine, and you'll get a chance to hear it. Boy, that's great. Look at that power. Mr. Herford, what happened? Oh, I keep forgetting to get in it. <laughs> we asked the 4th Street gang to build us a bathtub ring, and they built a beauty in a tub with a window. Now watch new crew bathroom cleaner power dirt off with half the work of gritty cleanser. Through the window... Look how crew cuts through stubborn bathtub ring and powers it off without scrubbing. Then wipes disinfectant clean without rinsing. Just once over, you're through. It's half the work of Gritty Cleanser. And crew disinfects thoroughly as it cleans. Crew from Johnson Wax, it powers dirt off with half the work of Gritty Cleanser. Keeps them handy for the gang. Now, here's a return engagement by one of the year's most colossal hits in the Hollywood Palace. The foursome from France who out D'Artagnan, Douglas Fairbanks, Jr. and Sr. They're from Paris, the wild and exciting Swordsman of the Lido.
know, like any other show, the Hollywood Palace has its unexpected, uh, hilarious moments. And tonight, for our birthday party, we've we spliced together some of these moments, some of the rare and unplanned boo-boos of the past year. We'd like to screen them for you all now so you could get a look at them. We call them simply, whoop. <laughs> First, you'll see the producers of the Hollywood Palace. The night they were making a commercial for the show. Known in the trade, the, this kind of activity is called a promo. And here they are, doing everything that they tell actors not to do. Nick Vanoff and Bill Harbeck. Hi, I'm Nick Vanoff. And I'm Bill Harbeck. And for the past three years, we've had the pleasure of producing the Hollywood Palace for the American Broadcasting Company. We get a kick out of doing these shows for you because... We get to... <laughs> Hi, I'm Nick Vanoff. And I'm Bill Harbach. And for the past three years, we've had the pleasure of producing the Hollywood... <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nick Vanoff. And I'm... <laughs> Amateur. Hi, I'm Nick Vanoff. And I'm Bill Harbach. And for the past three years, we've had the pleasure of producing the Hollywood Palace for the American Broadcasting Company. We got a kick out of doing these shows for you because week after week... <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Inspiring, isn't it? <laughs> that pair of award-winning performances gave some of our distinguished hosts and hostesses a high mark to shoot at, believe me. But they, they managed it all right. Regarde. You see, we, it's, I'm lousing up the whole words. We think it was television's loss when the next brilliant satirist decided to... Dis Let me try that one more yes, time. I think we ought to. Let's welcome Jack Burke... Pardon me. So let's welcome Jack Burns and... Uh, uh, let's just try that one more time. I think we should, yeah. I think you can see him. They say he was a colorful figure in his plaid skirt. Uh, can we start it again? Yes. <laughs> Honest... <laughs> Excuse me. I... <laughs> I think I swallowed... How do you know? <laughs> I just swallowed a moth. <laughs> At least it could have folded its wings when it went. Tonight gives us a... Tonight? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, uh, has any of you fellas flown any... Uh, are any of you fellas... Oh, here we go again, woman. <laughs> tonight gives us his impression. Tonight he gives us his impression. Ha, 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 oh, sure. <laughs> I trust you observed that I, I wasn't among any of the airing artists, but until I found out that they pay the hosts around here according to their mistakes, so I got in on some of the fringe benefits. The evening when the Mills Brothers were on the show. I've been awfully blue and sad, thinking of the loves I've... How's that going? Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's real great. These verses. How do I wind up with a verse? That's right. <laughs> I haven't sung a verse since I worked the parish hall and spoke to <laughs> How's that melody go? Give me that melody. <laughs> Next line. Well, that's pretty occult, isn't it? <laughs> I've been awfully blue and sad, thinking of the loves I've had. Is anyone there? That's pretty, too. I like that. But now's my time to smile, because I've decided I'll... Oh, now we're going. Yeah. Wow, what's this? <laughs> now you got it. <laughs> Arpege. You got the wrong card, Jack. <laughs> Mario, que pasa con tu? Arpege. Beautiful arpege. We ought to release the arpege. <laughs> Here's Jimmy Durante. Thank you. Here's Jimmy Durante and Peter Lawford as a pair of lads from Carnaby Street. I know my own lines. You know my <laughs> He's telling me my lines is only... He's mumbling all through the thing. <laughs> hey, George Hamilton was busy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you finished? <laughs> Not no help me. <laughs> we're here together, right? Come out here with no guitar and we're set, okay? I'll give you a cue and then you take around three beats. Come out here. You're on your own. Right? No guitars. What? No. All right. Stand by. Here we go. Wait a minute. Uh, yeah. Do you want the foot work in there? Let's go to the Library of Congress right after. Hang on. Here we go. Okay. You 
really need me, Greg? You. What do you, what do you mean? You say, what do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you rolling? Yeah, rolling. Say, what do you mean? Oh. What do you mean? Say, so come out here with no guitars. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the matter? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what award would you have? What did you get that award with? Gutenberg? Say, well, don't show that film anymore. Well, what's, what's the matter, Jim? I'm not talking, Mr. Crosby. The next voice you will hear will be that of my attorneys. Mechanical, Platnik, Shapiro... And Braun. And Braun. <laughs> well, that's a coincidence. I must tell you that McGonagall, Plotnick, Shapiro, and Braun happen to be my attorneys, too. How do you like that? Fooled by another Crosby Enterprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in fun, Jimmy. You shouldn't take uh, umbrage at it. It was just screened. You know, we screened a few boo-boos. Well, that doesn't surprise me. This guy made a fortune with boo-boos. Boo-boo-boo-boo. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> he should hang by the rope. <laughs> Jimmy's coming back to sing a song and to partake of our birthday cake, and we'll be welcoming also a truly honored guest, the great statesman and United States Senator Everett Dirksen. He's going to be doing a reading from his new album. There's lots more celebration on tap here for you on this anniversary Feu de Joie. So stay around, help keep the party going. The Republican Party, there is. smokers would rather fight than switch join the unswitchable smoke terry time of course at any celebration it's proper and uh, well it's customary to have honored guests people who are known for their accomplishments the accomplishment of our next guest is a significant accomplishment indeed a lifetime of giving joy to his fellow man ladies and gentlemen jimmy Durant. <laughs> Somewhere there's a fly in everyone's ointment. <laughs> <laughs> but mine seems much more serious than the rest. My romantic life with girls has been a disappointment. And fuzz, I gotta get it off my chest. You know, folks, a couple of months ago, I met a beautiful girl. I was crazy about her. But she was crazy about singers. So to combat that evil, every night I serenade her under her window and sang, Oh, I adore, I adore you. <laughs> Would you believe it, folks? Today, that girl hates music. <laughs> I know some guys make an impression giving girls a limousine. But with me, it's not so easy. Let me tell you what I mean. My girlfriends don't want my money. All they're after is me. I'm as sad as can be. A slight little nod, a look at my 
girls will get me more girls than diamonds and pearls. Honest folks, it isn't funny. I'm embarrassed, you see. I pay my own share, but gee. Wherever I go, I don't spend a dime. They don't want my dough, they want my time. There's habit, there's bedlam every time. I roll my eyes. Why was I born with so much more than other guys? Guess I'll have to win and bear it. I don't want sympathy. Now, girls, don't send me flowers that cost great big sums. But if you have to send me flowers, make sure they're crescentinums. <laughs> or maybe rhododemiums. <laughs> or nastaturiums. <laughs> girls, won't you take my money and leave for me? I'm glad you asked me. <laughs> Thank you, girl. Thank you. Jimmy, do you remember you made me love you? You made me love you? <laughs> it's nothing, girl. <laughs> Harvest Moon. Oh, oh, come on, sit down, girls. There's lots of room. That's it. Jimmy, do you remember? Ain't you coming home to old New Hampshire, Molly? Ain't you coming home? When you coming home to New Hampshire, Molly? What a time for my memory to fail me. <laughs> Called the Eagle Rock. The Eagle Rock hitter! Follow me. To the end and then you twist your knee. To the right and then you start to swing. And then you flap your wings. Then you start to wing to and fro. Then you start to shake your shoulders so. To the ground you start to bet you know. Come on, sir. Get up, I gotta talk to uh qualifreds. <laughs> Jimmy, there's one thing that never changes in this world, and that's the, the way you deliver a song. Well, thanks, Ming. But is that supposed to be a compliment or a detergent? <laughs> Only the white knight knows for sure. <laughs> Jimmy, let's keep the festivities going here with a little duet, you and I. What do you say? How do you like that? Everybody wants to do a duet with me now. Ever since I sang a duet with Mrs. Miller. <laughs> Marvelous. Yeah, babe. But you know something, Bing? Is it okay if I uh, sing with you? What? You want to do a duet with me after singing with Mrs. Miller? What are you trying to do? Mix me up again? <laughs> I've been mixed up all night. All right. <laughs> all right, Bing, I'll do a duet, but providing you sing soft. Soft? After all, the public wants to hear me, too. Okay. <laughs> Sing soft, yes. Sing sweet, mm -hmm. sing gentle. Ah, yes. And I sing loud and yet sentimental. No big sing soft. A la dulce. In the end, you'll rejoice. La da 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 da. What a crime to soften this voice. Tell me, Jim. 
Will I thrill the ladies wherever I play? Sure, I promise to make you the next Bob Goulet. Bob Goulet's got lots of volume. He breaks wine glasses. <laughs> we'll continue. Okay. Sing, 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 so gentle. It's hopeless. This boy will never improve. Well, I try hard, Professor, to be on my toes. Watch me, Shima Banya. Let me see. The short never grew. Ah, but James, you have the best of me. You've taken advantage. You have a mute in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> to a <laughs> boss. <laughs> wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. I, when I want to sing soft, I start the note for my diaphragm. I'm with you, Jimmy. Bring it all the way up to the upper asparagus. That's yeah, nice country up there. <laughs> <laughs> Around the roof of my epiglottis and out to my nose. Well, no wonder it's soft. After a trip like that, it's too weak to make any noise. <laughs> but it's soft. And it's, it's sweet. And, and it's gentle. gentle. Oh, I don't know, Maestro. I'm afraid I'm just a dullard. I'm a bad pupil. I just can't seem to grasp your pianissimo con agitato. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's look at your theme song. Oh, go easy with my theme song. Remember, it was the Winchester Cathedral of its day. Yeah, but it's not the song that I'm complaining about. No? It's the way you sing it. What do I do? It hasn't got the flavor a theme song should have. Well, Maestro, pray, what, what would your solution be? Well, let me show you... How you should sing it. Let me hear. Precisely. Durante style, I suppose. Huh? Precisely. I was waiting for that. <laughs> well, let me hear it. I'll... And let me hear it. And the night beats the gold of the day. Skies are blue and stay that way. Somebody wait for me. I got it, Jimmy. Better. Where the blue of her eyes meets the gold of her hair. Yeah. No one could ever wear yeah. a halo so tenderly. This boy is ready for a network. If I could only be there, we'd never go wrong. Sing it. I boo boo boo, make a make a do, start each day with a song. Why when the blue of the night meets the gold of the day, skies are blue, blue and stay that way. You see what I mean, Bing? What's this? It's soft. <laughs> it's sweet. Mm -hmm. It's gentle. Just, Just remember, remember that the whole thing is mental. Sing soft. <laughs> Sing sweet. Yes, man. Yes, and sweet. sweet. This is how it starts. Something happens to upset you. Something happens to make you tense up, cause nerves to snap. And with each mounting pressure, excess acid may start to flow in your stomach. First a drop, then another, and another, and another. Result, acid indigestion, heartburn, that burning sensation. That's why wherever you go, always carry Rolaids, one of the most effective medications known for acid relief. Only Rolaids contains this exclusive buffering compound. Rolaids breaks into thousands of tiny particles. Each particle consumes 47 times its weight in excess stomach acid. Helps control the steady acid drip. By the time Rolaids is back in your pocket, you're on your way to soothing relief. Reach for handy, convenient Rolaids. Rolaids consumes 47 times its weight in excess stomach acid. Jimmy, we're all delighted that you could attend our anniversary party. I don't think Truman Capote could have wished for a more distinguished guest, one with such el elegance, such elan, savoir-faire. Thanks, Bing. I'm glad you didn't invite me just because I'm another pretty face. <laughs> <laughs> but, Bing, I want to tell you, it's an honor to be on the show with that great statesman, my schoolboy chum, Senator Everett Dirksen. Just a minute. You went to school with Everett Dirksen? Certainly. Only he listened. <laughs> Say, Bing, what? where's the cake? Oh, we hired a kid to bring it out. He ought to be here by now if he didn't take a wrong turn at Thailand or something. <laughs> This is Bob Hope, ladies and gentlemen, stepping out of Betty Crocker's windows all over the country. You gotta hurry, I borrowed it from Mickey Rooney. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? In fact,
fact, he's inside. Say, it's pretty, isn't it? It's like a welcome wagon for J. Paul Getty. That's a beautiful thing. You want to say a few words? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I'd have a chance. <laughs> well, yeah, you should I have been there in the first place. Push yeah. me around. <laughs> Well, let's not worry about the calories. Let's cut the cake. Let's cut the... Who's got a knife? We've got to have something long and sharp. Well, too bad I had my nose fixed. Uh, with my old one, I could have helped you out. <laughs> mm. now, there's a sharp-looking Wilkinson Now, sword. wait a minute. No, no, mine's all booked up for Jessel's wedding. <laughs> What's the matter, Jim? What's that? It's just uh, worked on me that before we cut the cake... It worked on we... you? That's what he's got. <laughs> uh, it just worked on him. Uh, when, when did you oh, take him? You know, you know, wait, let me say... Uh, it's a terrible, oh, oh, terrible oh, piece oh. of timing. Go ahead. Uh, it just occurred to you, didn't it? You know, all you got to do... No, that's all right. Go all ahead. you got to do is make a mistake with these guys. They make a federal case out of it. I'll start again. Hold everything. Hold everything. Hold everything. Hold everything. It just, just occurred to me. Yeah, and also worked on it. <laughs> that, that before we cut the cake, we ought to sing a birthday song. That's the proper modus operandi. Oh, pardon me. Are you ready to join me, gentlemen? We are ready. We'll join you. All right. I said a piano there. A couple of journeys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wait, you stop the music. What's the matter? Bing. You're not singing soft like I told you. <laughs> How about him? <laughs> now, please, boys. La Dolce Vito Martino. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the party's going to be at Dean Martin's house. Right? <laughs> now, fellas, follow me again. We're ready. Follow you. Take me. I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. We wish the palace a happy anniversary. By the way, Bob, I heard the other day that uh, Dolores Hope, uh, she went along on your trip to Vietnam. Is she going to be on your Christmas special, January 18th? Yeah, and I got news for you. You know, Dolores sang White Christmas on the show uh -huh. and sang it well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to leave you, fellas. You know, Senator Dirksen's coming on next, and I have to advise him about his makeup. His makeup? What yeah. do you know about makeup? Are you kidding? After two pictures with Phyllis Diller, I'm an expert. <laughs> 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 Sewing machine by Singer. Touch and sew. Another first from Singer. Be the girl with the golden touch on your new Singer Golden Touch and Sew machine. Dozens of exclusive features, like this new built-in needle threader for the golden slant needle and the push-button bobbin that winds right in the machine. What a wonderful new feeling. You can do all three kinds of sewing. Straight, zigzag, and chain stitch. Touch and sew. The push button bobbin way. Come sew on one at your Singer Center. Choose from five touch and sew models from $149.95. What's new for tomorrow is at Singer today. One of America's most important statesmen, the great Republican Everett Dirksen, is honoring us with his appearance here tonight. Senator went before the cameras especially to help us mark the fourth anniversary here of the Hollywood Palace. With his busy schedule, of course, he couldn't conveniently come to us, so we went to him. You see him now with a selection from his new and stirring album of Americana, The Gallant Men. Here's the senator from Illinois, Everett McKinley Dirksen.
let me visit with you about the adventure of America. Over the years, men have sacrificed as they are doing now. They have contributed, they have labored, they have built themselves into this land that we might have the great legacy of freedom that we enjoy. Down through the years, there have been men, brave, gallant men, who have died that others might be free. And even now, they do it still. Brave, gallant men know that someone must. And so, they will. Gallant men have built us a nation. Passed us a torch of flame. Let us hold it high. Let us light up the sky in praise of gallant men. must know, even now as then, they cannot stand so long as there are gallant men. Senator, for being with us for our anniversary party. It's my pleasure. I always enjoy Hollywood Palace. And as for you, Bing, I think I speak for all citizens when I say that you, Bing Crosby, are one of America's great natural resources. You've given all of us countless moments of entertainment. Well, Senator, there have been some moments when you've been pretty entertaining yourself. Of course, I'm not referring to your great work as a United States Senator. Well, I'm glad you cleared that up. <laughs> Senator, I'd like to welcome you to the recording business, and I hope that your new album is going to be a big hit. Well, thank you, Bing. I hope so, too. But I'm no Barbara Streisand yet. <laughs> I'll see you in Washington during tax time. I'm leaving the country. <laughs> This is a great country, a great country, so let's shout it clear and loud. Take a look. In your history book And you'll see why we should be proud Hats off to America The home of the free and the brave If this is flag-waving Flag-waving Do you know
thank you very much for coming to our anniversary soiree. And all you nice folks, of course, are invited back next week when our host is going to be Donald O'Connor. I'll be watching from up at Pebble Beach, where lots of stars and golfers will be slashing and hacking away out there in the forest. That's in the annual Pro-Am Golf Tournament. You'll see it all on ABC January 21st and 22nd. Good night. Hey, your cigarette is longer. What is it? Filter tip pell mell. <laughs> nice pack. Go. Tastes great, too. Same pell mell tobacco. Identical. Tastes good and mild. I like. Discover the new luxury length of filter tipped pell mell, packaged in gold. Outstanding. And they are mild. <laughs> portion of the Hollywood Palace has been brought to you by filter-tipped pell-mell, luxury length packaged in gold, outstanding, and they are mild. And by Singer and the new golden touch-and-sew sewing machine, one of five touch-and-sew sewing machines with the push-button bobbin. What's new for tomorrow is at Singer today. Travel arrangements for overseas acts and promotional consideration furnished by Pan American Airways, world's most experienced airline. This is Dick Tufel speaking. Don't forget next week at the Hollywood Palace, Sid Caesar, Rudy Carvinas, Don Ho and the LAD, Sherry Lewis, Ted Lewis, Marilyn May, Bob Melvin, and your host, Donald O'Connor. And we'd like to extend a Hollywood Palace greeting to WBBJ-TV in Jackson, Tennessee, which is joining the ABC Network.